Greetings, everyone! It's me, Ganeshwa from Blood and Pictures, and welcome to Hype Swap Act 2. Dead Fright, apparently, is the name. Okay, so we have Continue, which we, we didn't start anything. I'm This is a fresh start. Uh, new game, recap, settings, quit game. I don't know what recap will do. But re I don't, mm, I'm very curious. But either way, down here we have a train with like separated into blood colors. The the more in front and bigger and luxurious they are, the higher the blood cased, obviously. That is very interesting, and I love that that like the green moon is a little bit more subtle in the background. And the purple moon is like up here, right in center, right? Providing the main source of light. Ooh. Okay. I was thinking we could quit the game, but that would be a sh shitty thing. Either way, um, recap. Oh, it's text based. Um. Uh, yeah, I mean, we all know. We all know what happened. So just press, press new game and let's start. Import Act 1 save. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, I, uh, mm, should do that. Either way, um, also, I'm currently streaming this over to, uh, on our Discord as I record this. For everyone who's a patron subscriber or, um, helper in, in another way, everyone who basically off, um, earned the reward can see this being li recorded live without the face cam because that's a tricky thing on our discord server as a reward just so you know that th those guys have early access and now import save from act one yes um uh complete uh, um I don't know which one was mine. I mean, this one says Ashkava's game, but I do not know if that was the one I played through with. It's a couple days earlier than this one. Uh, oh gosh. It's a complete save though, so I'll uh, take the one that's a few minutes later? A few days later. A few minutes later, I guess. Continuity ma Maestro. Thank you, I love that one. Ah, oh, straight into it. Is that like right where we left off? Kind of is. <laughs> oh wow, this does not look like a nice part of neighborhood. Joey? Are you okay? Yeah, give me a second. What do you think? It fits, at least. It sort of smells like natural cheese, but it could be worse. Oh, yeah, sorry if I grabbed a dirty one. Just make sure you keep your hood up. Do you think it will fool anybody if I don't have horns? Um, well, just keep your head down if you can. Sure, of course. I guess the next question is, where are we? Where are we headed? You said we're going to see one of your friends. Will he freak out when he sees me? Crydia? Oh, we have a name. Interesting. No, I don't think she'll really care about, about you being an alien. Besides, she's got way more important things to think about right now with her huge party going on. I mean, depends on what you think is important. Freaky, <laughs> freaking alien or not. Also, the music in the um, title screen, mm, nah, amazing. Just wanted to put that out there. Also, um... Yeah, 
I mean, it has been a while since I, like, realized, oh, yeah, like, that was the last thing we saw. <sighs> Damn, it's weird being in this again. And also, if I ever did any voices for any of these characters and I forgot, forgive me, it has been three years. <laughs> Well, I'll keep my eyes peeled for a, a better disguise. How many people are going to be at the, this party? Probably a lot. She's a violet blood, so... You know... No, I don't know, Zevros. I don't know anything. Right. Wow. Basically, all you need to know is she's pretty influential. And getting her on board was a really big break for us. But right now, we should probably just get out of here as fast as possible. What with the drones and... What What with the drones and all? <laughs> right, sorry about your house and everything. And your crushed bones. Yeah, I'll be fine. Great! Yeah, that, that seems so super careless. It looks like you're ready to begin your quest. Or well, continue, we, usually, we should say. I... Oh, is this like the care package for the losers? Because I think this looks different. I also think... I think that might have not been my save. It looks like you're ready to begin your quest. If you need any help on your journey, the question mark button on your UI is available for use. Hints will now be accessible at all puzzling points of the story when Joey is the active character. Huh? Who said that? Said what? Mm, I must have been hearing things. Let's go find some train tickets. Don't... don't put, like, forced, uh... Fourth wall breaking in here. <laughs> was enough with Pester Quest. <laughs> that was too much. Okay, what is you? He isn't injured anymore. Okay. Look! He's not so bad after all. Good dear cat. Best friend. Yes. Dear cat. <laughs> My naming was on point. <laughs> also, I don't know if you noticed back then, or if you haven't seen back then, but dear cat was supposed to be a pun. <laughs> now I have my own dear cats without antlers, but they are very dear to my heart. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Back soon? You wonder how long soon is? Oh, you wonder how long soon is. Take? Why would you take someone's back soon sign? Everyone will think they're closed for the night. True. There's a weird delay when the talking actually starts and the animation starts. What are these? They look sort of like wanted posters? Oh, those are just Imperial propaganda leaflets. They're a little low-tech, but Demix says that the, ha the Harris doesn't want dis dissidents to think there's any anywhere they can go where they can be safe. Dissidents? I do not know that word. Doesn't want dissidents to think there's anywhere they can go to where they can be safe. Okay, so I got that one right. So, leaflets, even though it's not online, you're not freaking safe from anything. Oh, that's the same. It's all the same hitbox. Um, I don't want to miss anything, because... Wait, let me go a bit closer in case it's... Okay, that's a bigger thing. Look. You wouldn't imagine it would be possible for a gate to look sci-fi, but this gate is pulling it off. Use. Looks like you need a ticket to go through it. Fair enough. I mean, that's um, how our world works as well. Look. Oh, even your clocks are different. Wild. Okay, look at it again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, yeah. I don't know if this is a full 24 scale because I don't bother counting them all over and over again. 
Actually, I do. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, so 19 hours, or, whoa, 19 digits. I paused there because I wasn't sure if I missed a step accidentally. That looks like the cr crappy patty, like the the bad crabby patty. The evil patty or what bad patty? I don't know how it's always called. The SpongeBob one where it's all like disgusting. <laughs> I can't click there. Look. He seems a little stressed out. A closer look and you're pretty sure you know why. Because either this do that do did it this person is intimidating them or because he's m missing a leg yeah he looks at his leg I guess it's that it seems to be recent if he still is like so stressed out about it to be fair we do know from previous like from Homestuck as well um, that people with disabilities like that are fodder for the culling Marks. You're gonna pass out? No. Good, be good, because I'm not catching you. Stop scratching at your wound. What, what, what would your Lucy say? He wouldn't say anything. He's dead. Ugh, it's a, a hypothetical scenario. Mine's dead too, new breath. Oh my god, are you guys okay? Wow, I'm being an idiot. Of course you aren't, okay? Eh, it's fine. Sometimes you lose stuff. Sometimes a leg. Sometimes you lose the person who raised you from a grub. That's life. Wow. I mean, wasn't there like strong hints that at a lot of points actually that um, that uh, orphans get culled? Or are like culling bait? Something around those lines? I really dearly remember that and was pretty like stressed out about it when writing stuff. Not too much, but yeah. Do you know where we get we can get tickets? Good luck, I guess. I think we'll ask for the tickets. Do you know where we can get tickets? Yeah, from that machine over there. But you can't just go right up there and use it. What do we have to do? You'll have to wait until that weirdo in the costume gets back from his break. He's the only one who knows the trick to make that busted up machine work. I think he I think he's the cafe maybe he is in the cafe maybe you can you can convince him to come back early. Thanks. Well, go talk to him. We'll go talk to him. The missing apostrophe messed me up there. Um, I hope your leg is okay. I'm sure wherever it is, <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I'm sure wherever it is, it's fine. That is so grim. I love it. <laughs> oh god, that's hilarious. Oh. I hope everything works out okay. Oh yeah, same. Look. She looks very dirty and very mad. I know, like since they said don't scratch on your wound and all of that, it seems like this happened. Maybe those are victims from like the bombarding that happened in Act 1. And that would also like explain why they're still up and kicking after their losers died, even if the whole scenario of um, being orphaned makes you cullable, well, more prone for cullable, is still a canon thing. Look, you don't think you have m any money, and you don't know what they eat here. There was a lot of stuff in Demix Hive that looks like it might have been food. But you kind of hope it wasn't. 
It's an alien planet, get over it! <laughs> but to be fair, it looks pretty disgusting. Go in. Oh, yep, there they come, that's no good. Ah, uh, that took a turn I didn't expect. Where are we? The last thing I remember is... the explosion. I thought I was dead for sure. Toothy must have dragged us to safety. Toothy? Wow, Toothy, I never thought you'd do something like extract me from one of the silly situations I'm always getting into. Why is it... Wait, no. This is... Mm. I'm questioning everything about my safe file right now. Because I was Dear Cat before and I really thought that w that was the name I gave them. Was it? Not? I'm questioning everything right now. Um... I guess it's because Demica wasn't here to tell you any any better. What about all those trolls back there? Are they okay? Should we try to help them? Um... Nah, sure they're fine. Uh, trolls are tough. Like they even... Like hey, even I'm still alive, right? Well, if you're sure... But what about your Lucis? Wasn't he right behind us? Just a drone bombing, no big deal. I'm sure he'll find his way uh, way home to wait for me. <laughs> we should keep moving forward, right? But where do we go from here? Oh, I don't know. I've never been this far from Outblood before. Huh. I've never been this far from my planet. <laughs> wow, neither of us know anything. Hey, that's not totally true. We might both know only a few things, but maybe if we put our heads together, we'll know just enough. It'll all work out. Actually, Joey, I don't think so. Oh, wiggle worm. To get out of here, we need to know where we were and where, where we were. Okay. We need to know where we were and where we're going. English is weird sometimes. <laughs> the only way we could figure either of those things out is if we had a map, or if we use the constellations to guide us. Which neither of us could do anything uh, anyway because you're an alien and I'm stupid. <laughs> Aww, Severus. Poor baby. We'll probably be lost forever. So I think what you just said was an example of how being able to put words in whatever order you want doesn't make what you said necessarily true. But it did sound really, really cool. You know, why don't we take a look around bef before giving up? I guess that's a good idea too. See what I mean? I'm too dumb to come up with plans like that by myself. Wow, there's a little weird pixelation going on with the zoom out. We have plants just like this in our backyard. Really? Our plants must be more alike than we think. My brother and I used to take the long stalks and cut off each on each end so we could use it like a string. A string can telephone. You can do that? Except, you know, it actually worked. I don't know what a brother or a telephone is, but please don't cut these open. They're filled with acid. Yikes. Yeah, true. But these are not the acid gushers, though that's what we called it by ourselves. Look. 
He looks tuckered out from carrying you so far. Good toothy best friend. Yeah, I'm pretty damn sure this is not my save file anymore if, like, but why did it change? Or was Deer Cat like the basic thing? I have no idea anymore. I am so lost with that. Look. Oh, why are you going all the way o over there? And there's a big crab monster thing. It's wide, but probably not too wide to cross. You can swim in. You can swim, in theory. Okay, could you, like, not go all the way there before doing that? I wonder. If I'm here, does that mean this Demic guy is with Jude? Cerberus does not seem very keen about talk, uh, talking about that. Please don't make it an actual abusive thing. I didn't expect to see fishing supplies out here. Why not? Don't people fish on Earth? Does he need all of Some people still do, I guess. But it's not a popular pastime now that we have TV and s supermarkets. I mean... Every second dad and every second TV show was going fishing, so... Eternia is way more advanced than Earth, so I thought you'd have more exciting hobbies. We don't consider it a hobby. Trolls fish for survival. Even useless lowbloods like me need to be self-sufficient. Knowing how to hunt and fish prepares us for future off-world exploits. That makes sense. Also, like the old saying goes... That's a long saying. You never know when the Empress is going to run one of her annual terror crusades against the home, wo home world and halt all shipping to the planet for weeks at a time while she has her fleet execute a brutal orbital bombing campaign. Am I right? Big yikes. What? <laughs> Big yikes. Should we try to swim? I've heard that as long as you can find a river to follow, it's possible to get lost. Impossible to get lost. Where do you hear that? It's my father's favorite piece of advice. It's his only piece of advice, actually. Dad, I'm having a hard time with my long division. Uh, always follow a river when lost in the jungle, my little jellybug. Dad, what do, do I say if I have to have a question by? Why, if... The path ahead seems daunting. Make certain there is a river at your side, of course. Dad, what happened with Mom? Well, she wasn't following the river, you see. Uh, wow, this father-dad guy sounds really wise. But you can't just follow a river in any direction, right? If we followed this one, we'd end up back at the cafe and immediately get shot. That's a good point. Is that why my dad's never home? That's kind of depressing to think about. Oh well. Oh, I minimized the game. You never saw. What. Um. Big bug. This is a magnificent pile of trash. Yeah, some of the stuff in here is extremely old. I wonder if there's anything valuable. Hey, I saw a news story a few months ago about a bunch of people who got rich selling old comic books. Because people, tra people trash their comics after reading them, there's only a few of those early issues left in the world. If you could find something like that, you wouldn't have to worry about drones so much. Yeah, I don't think that really works in Alternia. Come on, let's take a look. Oh. Don't worry, Joey. There's nothing valuable in, in there. The Tetrarch... The tetra, Tetrarch says that all goods on Alternia are mass-produced garbage that only degrade in va uh, value over time. He explains that it's a tactic of 
the emperors to stop stop us from rebuilding an independent Alternian economy after the Fiduspan bubble crashed uh, crashed it 300 years ago. Wait. From rebuild to stop us from rebuilding an independent Alternian economy after the Fiduspan bubble crashed it 200 years ago. So Fidu spawn 300 years ago had a huge economy thing going on? And why are you saying years and not sweeps? That's weird. Everything in that pile is designed to break easily and have a short li sh uh, shelf life. Just like me! I don't know that that's... Um, because I think some of the things in this pile look very nice. Really? Yes, and I think they're useful as well. Wow, aliens sure are strange. Did we actually pick something up? Doesn't seem like it. I don't want to poke the bug without... Um... Um... I mean, some of the, these things you could use in order to trade, at the very least. Maybe they have been... Oh, here's... An, this guy's missing legs. Oh wow, that is... That sure is a bit... Uh, is a bug that's standing here. Just out in the middle of nowhere. A giant bug. Anyone else seeing this giant bug? Yes. What? No. <laughs> Joey has nothing to say about the humongous bug e uh, chewing on the trash? So the swim idea was... Should we follow it? Yes, you go. We must go into the water. It's necessary. Uh, seems like a bad idea. If I'm completely honest, it seems like a death trap. This seems so obvious to be a death trap. It seems necessary. Even after what I just said, it feels like the river is calling to me. I feel the same way. Maybe it is true if. You surrender yourself wholly and, without exception to the water, the river will take you where you need to go. Uh... No, no, it said swim and not just jump in and... Okay, I've made up my mind, let's do it! Gone swimming. That was so obvious. <laughs> that was so obvious. I want to see what they say, although if I say no. Seems like a bad idea. Let's try using our in in intuition instead. Yep. And even it wasn't even the swing that was the bad part. He just poked his foot in, and then the fish slapped him across the face. They both fell in. That was, that was just a huge mess. A deregling, true to the name of the Hive for Frenzim franchise. Or games. Game? Is it just one? I don't know. So let's see what's in there. That's the only path left, anyway. Hello? There's no answer. Maybe it's abandoned. I mean, this looks like a loses of some sort. Oh, we're in the trash trolls thing. Hello? Is anyone here? Guess not. What should we do? Severus? Ah! What is it? I'm sorry, it's just... Just what? Even with the hoodie on, I can't stop freaking out about how you don't have horns. Joe, we can't get uh, on the train like this. Everyone will know. They just now were saying that they have no idea where to go, and now suddenly they need to go to a train? I mean, they wanted to go on the train back at that place as well, but... 
don't, really don't know where the train idea came from. Like, narratively, it was kind of clear that we wanted to go use the train, that's why we need the tickets, but... Like, introduction-wise, if you didn't pay attention to that, that that was a train station, you would be totally... What? Where, where did that come from? <laughs> okay, okay, don't panic. Um, why don't we take a look around? Maybe we'll find something. In someone else's hive? I don't know, that could end badly for us. Mm, you're right, stealing is pretty rude. But it's an emergency. What if we left something in exchange? Uh, well, I guess that'd be fine. As long as we don't uh, do it in a way so that they can never track us down. Right, uh, I wonder how much money I have. Wait, obviously I don't have any money. I'm on another planet. I don't even know what you guys use for money. Money doesn't really mean all that much on Alternia. But items of per personal value are worth a lot. Like mementos and stuff? Yeah, kind of. Money doesn't have a, a lot of value on Alternia. I mean, kind of. If, like, the economy is, like, ruled by the government completely, I guess, like, money is up to the blood case, and thus... That also doesn't really make that much sense. Like, for low bloods, money would be very val valuable. For high bloods, it would be trash. Apart from the part that you probably can't buy anything of real meaning, maybe? Like, you provided money for the necessities, but... If you have suddenly more money in any society where you can use the money, it is of worth. Weird. Like, I, I, it's just that I can't wrap, wrap my head around how it would be completely useless to us. Uh, but probably Xeros doesn't have enough to make a big difference. Yeah, kind of. Let's see what I've got on me. Um, I have a Q-Bat. No, I might need that. A bat? Are we expecting to play any sports? Only if we're unlucky. Um, there's this mic... Uh, mic? Demic gave me. Oh, that's probably crucial to the future to future events. Um, the spoon I bent might work. Why are were you carrying around a bent spoon? Uh, it makes me feel some small s semblance of confidence, I guess. Severus, please don't attach your s your self worth to the fact you can bend a spoon. I mean, it's with his mind, so. If she would know that, that would be a totally different story. <laughs> okay, anyway, I'll just leave this right here. Now let's go find a better disguise. The spoon isn't even there. Okay, this is a Rukupa raccoon. I didn't recall the slime, the sopper slime glowing. Look, there's almost enough junk here to build a scuttle bug. What's a scuttlebug? It's a primitive four-wheeled... I always assumed they had legs. Wasn't even described of having legs! In friends, um... Four-wheeled vehicular device that was exported from one of the Empress colonies a hundred years ago. A scuttlebug can only be used on a wide, flat plane, so it never caught on because it's easier to just ride your looses or take the train. But some trolls make them for fun because they're a good place to pa uh, pale with your maid spirit. Um, to what with your what? Uh, uh, never mind. Let's just abruptly change the topic uh, to anything else. <laughs> uh, okay. Hey, Joey, look at this cool stick. That is a pretty cool stick. I told you. Skull buggies were a bit more common in the Frenzim series. Like, a bit more useful, common thing that some people had. And also, I could swear they had legs. Rummage. 
legs instead of wheels, anyway. You can't find a troll costume in this pile of junk. I mean, we're not looking for a straight-up troll costume. We're just looking for something that resembles horns. So... Wait. Can I go back outside and... I will try that last if we don't find anything here. But there has been like a traffic cone. Maybe we can use that. That was just one, but still. Ooh. Oh, this is tariff. Oh my god. That is terrifying. Why does that even exist? Look. It's Xevros. Sure, talk. So, which way should we go? I have no idea where we are. <laughs> yeah, we are in a stranger's place, so... Sure. A lot of art. I know whose hive this is. I forgot their name, but it was the artsy trash troll. It's still wet. You don't do much painting. Not really, since all those watercolors in elementary school. Your mom used to put them up on the fridge. You don't know where they went. So, well, okay, same thing. Never know. Hmm. Look. You'd imagine that since we're looking for something completely undefined and random, this would be the place to find it, huh? Yeah, kinda weird that it's of no significant to our journey at all. Rummage. You can't find a troll costume here. Rummage. Wow. You'd imagine that since we're looking for something... Uh... If we could move those lights, we would... Uh, we could see into the back of the cave, but we can't reach them from here. I wonder if I could move them with my telekinesis. Severus? <laughs> why does he why does his horns multiplate when he's angry? Oh no! Severus! Don't break your brain! <laughs> Are you okay? Wow, I have a migraine, and now I, uh, I have a migraine now, and the lights didn't move at all. Huh? That's strange that you, I mean, you can't bend a spoon. I, I guess that would require more physical force than moving lights. You've been saving up your allowance for these in your room for a while. Or you were, back when you still got allowance. Huh? Um... Okay, let's, let's look at this creepy amalgam of limbs. The person who lives here must be an artist. I wonder what this is supposed to mean. Too bad they're not here to tell us. I've heard the point of art... The point of art like this is to interpret it ourselves. What do you think it means? Hmm. I have no idea. I guess it could represent finding joy in the pure randomness of life? Oh, that sounds nice. But what if it means the exact opposite thing? Huh? The closer a lobe, a lobe like me gets to Ascension Day, the more they fantasize about randomness. This could be an expression of the artist longing to break free from the constraints of the case system. Of course, any troll caught making art like this would be called for sedition in no time. But they couldn't keep pretending that they were loyalty resigned to a brutal life of servitude anymore. And this is their last defined act of freedom. Oh, that would be really sad if it was true, wouldn't it? But it must be nice to expire for something you believe in instead of living a long, pointless life. 
knowing that you had a choice between safety and bravery and you choose the uncomfortable path. Which would be... Which would you choose, Joey? I... I don't think I've ever had to think about it before. Oh, sorry. Sometimes I just speak without thinking. I must sound really dumb right now, rambling with like that. No, Xeros, it's not dumb. It's not a dumb question. Even if we never have to think about difficult topics, it's probably a good thing to do. I mean, it's kind of not completely. Oh, wow, it's kind of not completely true that you never have to think about. I just noticed that in the right corner. Um, right upper corner and lower corner where my face should be, actually. So... Um... Yep, you can see enough. And when you see down, like, below my face... Can I move my face real quick? Oh. I mean, I can... <laughs> the, the <laughs> this will work. <laughs> um... That's a stuffed... Mm, mother grub thing. At least it looks a lot like a mother grub. Otherwise, we don't even realize we're choosing, right? Mm, right. So, which are we doing right now? Is this safety or bravery? Um. Wow, this is starting to make my head hurt. Me too. I'm not even sure I th know what it means to be brave. But, well. I think we're, uh, when you're a low blood like me, most of your choices aren't really to ch a ruined a choice at all. They're simply the only possible option in any given scenario. <clears throat> so to be brave and leave a legacy, you have to make a difficult choice. But what is a difficult choice? How do you recognize a real choice when you see one? I guess it would be choice that wasn't obvious at the time. Like dying in a violent blaze of glory or the right to make ugly art. Or maybe it's just a monster with a bunch of feet. Yeah, that's probably it. Rambling about the roundness of art. Okay, this is definitely a mother grub with a bunch of mushrooms spewing out. But it's a plush because it like stitches and stuff. Holy crap. Wouldn't it be a shitload of being offensive right there? Or is this actually a corpse of a mother grub? Look. It's so realistic. Is it a statue or taxidermy? Taxidermy? Uh, jeez, how do I even explain this? Is it complicated? N not really. I just hate it. It's when you kill an animal, take out all its insides and stuff the corpse with fabric. Then you display it in your house in a sick display of dominance over nature. Oh, you mean like taxi t taxidermitation. Okay, Tevros, Tevros, come on. Those were <laughs> pretty similar words. Taxidermitation? Taxi D meritation. It's when an Imperial soldier gets in demer demerited so hard that they forfeit their right to dignity and death. Oh, like you sucked as a soldier, let me display your body as a warning to others kind of deal? Ooh. After they're executed, the Empress has their sh shit and stuffed and placed in her personal trophy room. See, it could always be get worse, if you say so. Take. Take. No comment about this being a freaking mother grub! Take. Sure. It'll probably come alive and bite you. I freaking doubt it. These mushrooms are huge. Your planet has mushrooms? Of course. When I was little, my dad taught me how to tell poisonous plants from edible ones in case I ever got lost in the wilderness. 
<gasps> and now you're... You are! Yeah, but... I saw him get sick from something he ate on an adventure so many times that I'm pretty sure he just made it all up. That's probably why I decided to stop trusting anything he says. I mean... He probably got sick because of other reasons too, to be fair. The one thing he's supposed to be good at is trekking through the savage, savage underbrush. And he couldn't even teach me which mushrooms are okay to eat. Um, well, not these ones. Valglo mushrooms are the most poisonous fungus on Alternia. If you eat one, it will rot your stomach. When you touch them, they leave a residue that makes you burn up under, under moonlight. Like the sun is still out. Ooh. My science brain wants one of those and in my lab, which I do not have. <laughs> Ooh, so Pandomia, take notes. Your alchemy troll will love this. Oh no. But there's another mushroom called the Noble Glow that looks almost exactly the same, except that the guilds have a subtle f fold that grows in the opposite direction. The only way you can tell the difference is by laying flat on your back beneath the mushroom and checking your global coordinates uh, to make sure you've got the right one. Oh wow, like... Was it stinging nettles that have like a fake version that looks almost exactly the same? Couldn't you just touch it to see if it burns? You're right. I'll do that right away. Xeros, no, I was kidding. No, I thought he was actually gonna do it. Oh no. I think these might be noble glows after all. Are you sure you don't want me to risk melting my hand off to check? <laughs> no. Xeros, I am completely sure. Also, yes, I know for sure that I'm messing up all the voices. Our cultures do do have a few things in common after all. Yeah, but I wish they were different things. Okay, it's the same thing. So, wait. Oh? Is this the same thing? Cave Explorer. A barnacle so far away from the ocean. Yeah, these things have a mind of their own. Um, uh, don't touch it, please. Is it poisonous? It's super poisonous. You'll excrete blood from the pro pores in your cheating until you die if you touch it. And it's probably way worse for humans because their skin is way softer and thinner. Gee, I don't want to know what it does to people without cheating. Same. It's everything on this planet poisonous. Is everything. Are you poisonous? Good question. Doesn't seem like it. I mean, to humans. Oh, did you want to test it too? You to lick my arm. <laughs> lick me. If I'm poisonous, you'll we'll know. Uh, no, it's fine. Oh my god, I love this. To be honest, that would be something I would do with the alien. Am I poisonous to you? <laughs> okay, so we could go deeper into the cave now. Because I think... And this is all the weird statue thing that we went in a whole tantrum on. Whoa! I all recorded for an hour. It didn't even feel felt like half of it. Um. Ew, those are really gooey. And they look like something from an underwater nature special. Sure thing. Um, okay, so first things first. We can... No comment on... Okay. okay. Let's go back outside, because I saw there's a thing. Maybe I triggered an event that I now can pick that up. Here. Wait, I think I see something. <laughs> Ta da Ta-da! They look just like horns! Wow, they really do! 
Perfect. I freaking nailed that. Look. Okay, that's nothing new. Oh, now I can't click this anymore at all. Okay, let's go back inside, because now we have something. But it's only in our inventory. Xeros. You have no idea how that's going to help anything. Oh. There's nothing in this thing that uh, thing that's gonna help. Can I do this? There are some birds in here, but they all look way more intense than buyers. Oh yeah, that's the loosest. I thought that was the one we got from Earth. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I forgot we could do that. Now we have a microphone, soda cans, and a book. Two books. Oh, wait, can I? Please tell me I can. You could maybe make the mushrooms glow a little brighter if you wanted to migraine. No, I don't want the... Your eye out if you keep this up. Okay, no, but... No, I'm not aiming at the mushrooms. I'm not aiming at the freaking mushrooms. Okay. Um, do you have anything else to say when I look? Is that a statue of of a mother grub? There we go. Told you. Or an actual mother grub, or something even deeper and darker and impossible to fathom. With the mushrooms spilling out here. What if it's like, uh, I can't even tell you guys because we're way, way far away, far from that point of the story, but uh, just remember mushrooms within, I mean, that's already too much. Tick. Better not, it might be blasphemy, and it might just be an unpleasant tactile experience. Blasphemy? Yeah, yeah, that was what I was talking about. Look, it's Joey. Talk. Should I put them on now? Um, that might not be the best idea. We're lost in the wilderness. Anything could happen. You're right. If they got ruined before we got on the train, it'd be pretty bad. Let's just put them away until we know where we are. Good idea, Joey. You're so smart. Wait, that was your idea, Xeros. Was it? Yeah. And it was a good idea. <gasps> oh. Wow, this is a, the first time this has, was, has ever happened to me. The first time that's, that what's ever happened. That I've had a good idea. You know, Xevros, it was also your idea to find fake horns for my disguise. Really? Mm, sorry. Yes, that's two good ideas in a row. I'm on a roll! Keep going. Okay, um... My third good idea is... That we should get out of here right now. Fair. We don't really have, a, uh, have the school feeding to understand art like this. Fair enough. Ah! Oh wait. For a second you thought it was blood. Phew. I mean... This is high blood place. Oof. Look. The Tetrarch's hive is a little like this, although he's stockpiling, not hoarding. Rummage. This isn't your junk. You won't steal someone else's junk. Fair, I suppose. Okay, um, let's switch back to Joey for now. Oh. Can there, that animation be a little bit smoother, and not just a Please? Just a humble request. Let's go further! Um, what? Oh wow! I didn't know the cave would open up to such a cozy little farm! I thought we would just go deeper into the cave. This place is adorable! Maybe your plan has some good things in it after all. Yeah, uh... We shouldn't be pretty close to the next station. We should be pretty close to the next station. If we can get through the forest up ahead. 
Long distance local train stops have been regulated for six centuries to be spaced exactly eight capacionotiers apart from one another, which means we're coming on uh, coming up on, on it. So Ross, I have no idea what that unit of measurement could possibly equate to. Anyway, it's is this some kind of bee farm? The beehives are so cute. But where are the bees? Let's just keep walking. We don't want to get involved with anyone's private hive life. Uh, okay. Look. That leads back into the caves. Is that so weird that we were in that troll's caves? And I mean, we're, I know where we are now. We're at Zabidi's place. Look. Where are the bees? What does Xeros have to say for this? Look. Those are hives, so there must be some bees around. You don't hear anything, though. Are those just decorative? Poke. Okay, you're not allergic, but you aren't going to poke beehives. Fair enough. Either way, ladies and gentlemen, I've been recording for an hour. And I'm gonna end this episode here. I will keep recording though um, For now because I want to go a little bit deeper into this also I want to record two things in a row and also uh, I'm not sure if the record if the editing will not mess up So if I didn't outro the last episode and this, these are two you know why my editing software freaked up in the way I hope you enjoyed my rummaging through hives and this is only the start of the thing and I you have, like, I made a poll and you wanted me to be thorough and ex explore stuff, so here you go. That's what you chose. Either way, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. If you did, then please leave a like. That would be greatly appreciated. I sincerely love all of you guys. Check out the links in the description below for our Discord, for our, for our merch, for all that good stuff. Also, our Patreon. If you subscribe to our Patreon, you can see some... Um, recordings as a live stream on our Discord as well, if you want to. And, yeah, maybe even be part of some things in the future. Who knows? Either way, I sincerely love all of you guys another time. We'll see each other in the next video in the stream. Cheerio!